Hi friends, this is Sadiq. Today I am going to give you demo how to deploy your Mule application on Docker container, Docker image, and how to replicate scenario what you are facing on production or before releasing to the next team, testing team or customer team or on production. You can replicate the same server environment on your local laptop, desktop or local server with the help of Docker. So you the quality of release or quality of deployment would be more efficient way in order if in case if you have multiple dependency platform in, in your delivery or in product. And it helps developer to understand what would be the scenario when he is going to do the product test uh, development or testing before before going to the production or before going to the quality. Sorry, I have made one uh, Docker file. This Docker file is used to uh, to create image. That image in that image we will we will deploy our application and with the help of container we will use that image to run the application ok so before creating the image I will show you the image the, the file which used going to be used to create the image in the docker ok so I have already installed docker here I my docker is already running you can see the this 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 section is already running ok so I have all docker already running so I am going to let me this one ok uh, let me go to the C uh, so, let's see. go to the uh, demo docker docker demo As uh, what what we are trying to achieve here that you could have the same environment what you are going to have in the production or the customer testing environment or, or, or quality insurance team what environment have you can you can do the validation what you are changing you are doing right now it could be validated on your system before going to the other team in order to avoid duplicate task and better quality release to the product. Okay. So I am here right now and uh, this is the file. I will explain you what is that. If from that we are we are uh, this is the already image uh, is the Docker in Docker Hub. We are we are extracting those images from there and we are making a reference here. And this is the environment variable we are setting here. We are local locally we have uh, the, the standalone up in the runtime. I'll show you the runtime. This is the runtime we have here, okay. And we also have a very small application that's just returning just uh, this have only get method and just returning on some content payload. So I'm just showing you that uh, uh, you can use any any kind number of application and you, uh, any complex application or easy application and you can do your own job. You can deploy your own application to take the application on the current container. Okay, and so this is, the, uh, this is the main main function of this script and this this uh, main line of this script. What is doing that is uh, execute the command. It will go to the the debug mode, go to the off folder, and it in in off folder we have already added this folder to the off folder. Okay, so this uh, so this file zip file. It would be already available in the out folder. So it went to the OPT and then unzip the file, then unzip, uh, then remove the file and move this uh, the the folder which we have we got after unzip this zip file runtime zip file and we move this file this folder to the mule because we we already have we have already created. We have 
opt slash mule this is going to be our home directory we are going to use in that that case and we are going to set the our working directory is the mule home okay what i told you earlier that we are going to use this folder as a our working directory this is the volume as we have to uh, <coughs> sorry uh, this is this is the volume <coughs> we used to associate we we have we with the our cont our uh, image why we are using the uh, apps con domain logs is that and apps we deploy the application con we keep the our configuration logs we we keep the our logs domain we, can, we use the our domain applications okay depend on that you can add multiples but right now it's required only four so i have added only four but depend on the complexity of the application or depend on the requirement of the application you can add multiple volumes associated with the, your image now i am i am uh, i am copying this mule hello zip file from from my current location to the apps okay because we have i as i told you that apps folder we are going to use deploy the application so i copied my application over here which is already associated associated with the docker docker image okay and the exports what i i, I gave you the range of the port the edge 82 8085 we are going to use that application that port to uh, we can use this ports in case in terms of the access the application url which is going to be deployed in this container okay and this is going to be our entry point okay? let's go create a uh, image and run the application okay so first is the this is the command where we are going to, by which we are going to build the image for our testing or deployment purpose okay so this is the this is the docker file i told you this is the docker file i created to create the image and do the configuration in the image itself to be ready to do, to run the our application okay so docker build at, uh, hyphen t this is the image name hyphen f the docker so this is command you can uh, there's lots of uh, you can go and get this uh, you can get the details of this why we, we are using this command what is the meaning of the build t and f minus f dot you can get over there so this is command is going to cre create the image in the application in in the in the local server okay uh, i'm going to copy this okay As i run this application you can see it is start, it started downloading this the image getting reference from this image and we'll will keep keep all the will do the all the process we have we have written our docker file see the maintainer statically is the maintainer statically the running the inter, uh, intermediate container it will it will you see this is unzip process started this process is unzip process is, is already started here see this is mv mule enterprise let me remove from here. You can see that this, this content already started. You keep, you keep validating with the with the con content which I have written over here. Okay. So now the, uh, the image is ready. You can verify with the image what the image name was I've kept here. The Kelton, Kelton Docker Mule. Okay. So I go and images. This is the command. I got that. This is just created. It's like 15 seconds before. Okay. So now it's uh, now we have to build, we have to run the uh, we have to run the container. As we have to run the image and we have to start the we have to run the container that we are going to I, I, I told you that we are going to use the range of this port 
So right now I'm going to use 8083. It's fine. If you want, I can change this for. And uh, this is the application port. Actually, this is the application port, and this port in inside the uh, container. But this is going to be bind with the 8084, so you can access the application with the help of 8084. Okay. So uh, if you want, if you want to know that why we are using PT, you can get the same what I have uh, shown you. And shown you that you can go I can get this is all the command 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 explanation what is the command of all this must be manage i must be and p and okay so i'm going to start my con my container sorry i kept again what you see oh the copy best <coughs> see the container is now being started. You can see that the this is already uh, new application, new uh, run runtime. They are already uh, getting start being started by the the command. The instructions we have we have given in the in the command. You can see that the application the mule hello. Okay. The mule hello application which we have copied from OPT and then we have added to the apps is being start start it has been started by the in the container okay so so what is uh, I'll show you that how to uh, go to the con container Docker uh, Docker yes okay you will there what that you will get this container is running right now. You see this container is running. This is this is the container name actually. I'll go to the Docker minus e, sorry e six sorry e minus p e minus i and the container name and pin s. Okay. I right now now I have attached with the container which we are running like right now. I'll go to the uh, new application. So let me see. Uh, sorry. OPT. Where the application is that? Okay. The application. See this application is running here. I'll go to the I'll find the path. Info apps will find that this application is we have, we have deployed this application over here. Okay, <coughs> you can get so you can, you can go and uh, you can check the application properties. The hello XML. Yes, this sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. This is the uh, hello mule. Now, what we are we are using the edge zero eight one, which we have come, we have which we have uh, mapped with the edge zero eight three, and what we are using hello, and what is returning? This is the mule. This is the mule hello application. Okay. So nothing else is here. So I'll show you that the URL in the URL HTTP local host I think this, this is the port image in which we have deployed but 
we have met with the with the edge at three. So you can get the address of the mirror application from edge at three, right? So I'll show you that um, now we have dropped this application. The uh, let me go uh, over here. Docker yes. Okay. Docker is stop. I'll stop this one. I'm not right now. I'm stopping my container. So you'll see that uh, the application will not respond. Yeah, it's not okay. So now you see again. Yes, there is no container running right now. So I'll, I'll try to access my application here. See, there is nothing running right now. You can. You can try, sorry, you can try your SQL one, will not found anything, okay, sorry, you have to copy it, okay, that is the, okay, you not found anything, it's nothing running right now, so this container is up already, and I, you can check images, images is it, because we haven't touched anything in images, right, you can now I'll show you that how to remove the images. Images. You see, this is all this already been used. So you can you can remove by the force. You can use minus F to remove this container. Remove this image, okay? You see, this, this image already is removed from the desktop here. This is just simple uh, example I have shown you that you can deploy, you can build your application, your environment in your local laptop desktop and deploy your application with the same configuration what we have in the production or in the quality assurance team. Okay, so this is this is sample uh, demo. In next demo, I'll show you that uh, how to use the CI CD complete in the using the docker application docker tool okay uh, thanks and uh, thanks so much